Hello, thank you for listening. We are Daniel and Robin Brown of Pishon River Ministries, and we deliver a message of hope and encouragement in this world of wickedness, hate, and despair. If you'd like to invite us to your church, please email us at HolySpiritSentMe at MSN.com or Pishon River Ministries at Live.com. Today's message is on breaking point. Do Christians have a breaking point? Have you ever seen an oil refinery? One thing that amazed me about the first one I worked on in Oklahoma was the intricate maze of pipes that they used to produce the gas and kerosene, propane, and whatever other petroleum products they had. Proper pressure is maintained in every pipe to ensure that the oil flows at just the right rate. You don't want it too fast and you don't want it too slow. If it's too fast, it'll burst the pipes. All this apparent confusion of the pipes has a rhyme and reason to it, though. We may sometimes feel that our lives are like that maze of pipes under a lot of pressure. Amen? Besides our jobs and the endless things that make up our everyday living, we have a multitude of obligations to our family and our friends. Then there are the responsibilities to the community and the appeals to help a world full of needy causes. Um, we also have other spiritual commitments to live. Our, our faith, um, our relationship with God through prayer, reading His Word, having a fellowship with other believers, you know, church. Amen? Sometimes the pressure seems too much to bear, though. How in the heck do we as Christians keep from uh, bursting apart at the seams? It may surprise you to know that a certain amount of pressure is good for us. It helps us not to slip into a state of uh, physical, mental, or uh, spiritual lethargy. It can motivate us to win uh, greater victories as we come o overcome our uh, new obstacles. A certain amount is good for us, but too much can certainly be our undoing. Amen? That's why we need a pressure valve, a way out. Uh, Jesus offers us that. Come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, Jesus tells us, and I will give you rest, speaking in terms that his followers of uh, 2,000 years ago could understand. So our daily responsibilities and our problems, our lives, can be a beast of burden, and God knows this. Matthew 11 says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. For us Christians, if we find our yoke too heavy, perhaps we've uh, fashioned one for ourselves that's much heavier than the one that he wants us to bear. My dad was an engineer. A lot of a lot, large part of the engineer's job is to know exactly how much stress the structure can take. Um, whether it's a bridge, an elevator, or a boat, or whatever the design is. That's why you see signs in elevators or boats telling you how many people they can safely hold. If you exceed that limit, the bridge collapse, uh, the boat could sink, or the elevator could fall. We have to know our limits, too, not push ourselves beyond them. When things begin to get too much for you, let Jesus regulate the pressure. He knows how much is good for us and how much we can take. Let him take the controls, and he will make sure it's never too much. He gives power to the weak, and those that have no might, he gives strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Thanks for listening. God bless.